Quran is filled with the signs of Allah, ayatullah, the signs of Allah are all around us. And Allah calls us to witness and to observe them around us. They're in every single, every day, everywhere we go, every sight, every sound is filled with the signs of Allah. So in this verse, Allah says, Inna fi khalqis samawati wal ard. Allah says, Verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth. The alternation of the night and the day. The ships that sail the seas for the benefit of humanity is a sign of Allah. And then he says, وَمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِن مَاءٍ and the rain that Allah sends down from the skies. And He raises the dead earth after, He raises the earth back alive after it has been dead. And He sends all types of creatures to populate the earth, all over the earth, all the animals and the plants and the insects and the birds, all the species that we see. And then it says, "Was Sahab al Then he says, "What tasrif al riyah the shifting of the winds." Was Sahab al Musakhari bayna samai wal al And then the heavy clouds that hang heavy between the heavens and the earth. And then he says, "La ayatin li qawmin All of these are signs for the people who reflect, the people who use their intellect. So these are seven great signs of Allah. When Allah references signs of his power, signs of his majesty. They are signs that you cannot deny. They're all around us. They are relevant. So in here, the creation of the heavens and the earth, we all know when we study the earth, when you study, look at space, look at astronomy, there's so much interest in sp space exploration. Rockets are going into space for the first time human beings might be going as tourism. But the more you study this cosmos, the more you realize how vast it is and it points to the oneness and the power and the might and the majesty of Allah. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. The creation of the heavens and the earth is a great sign. That's sign number one. And then he says, waqtila fil layli wa nahar. The night turning into day and the day turning into night is another great sign of Allah. You know, every day we witness this miracle. You know, the world changes. The world in the daytime is very different from the world in the nighttime. At night, it's a very different world. It's like a whole new world. The, the sights, the sounds, the way people act, the way everything looks is very different. So this is a great miracle. Allah changes the day into night, the night into day, every single day, twice. And then He says, The ships that sail the seas for the benefit of humanity. This is another great sign that sometimes we don't think about. Now in these seven signs, Allah is sharing among the seven signs, six of them are natural signs. One of them is the ships. Now think about this, who builds the ships? Ships are man-made, they're constructed by human beings. But Allah calls them ayat, they are the signs of Allah. The lesson here is that even the things that we make are signs of Allah. Even the buildings, the cars, the tech, the telephones, the technology, everything is a sign of Allah. It's not that we make them and Allah has nothing to do. Allah is the one who made them ultimately. Allah made us, He gave us the ingenuity, He created the resources, He gave us the tawfiq, He gave us the blessing to complete these projects. So even these man-made objects are great signs of Allah's power and Allah's might and Allah's oneness. So this is a great lesson that it's not just that you look at creation and the natural signs, but also the man-made technology, the buildings, the concrete jungle, all these are also signs of Allah. There's a great poet who said, وَفِي كُلِّ وَلِلَّهِ فِي كُلِّ تَحْرِيكَةٍ وَتَسْكِينَةٍ أَبَدًا شَاهِدُوا He said, in everything that moves is a witness to Allah. And everything that doesn't move is also a witness to Allah. وَفِي كُلِّ شَيْءٍ لَهُ آيَةٌ تَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّهُ وَاحِدُوا Every single thing that exists in the world is a sign, an ayah. It teaches us what? That there is none but one.
And he is Allah Azza wa Jal, the creator, the sustainer, the master, the cherisher. So don't distinguish between man-made things. Don't be over arrogant. Don't be uh, indulgent that we create these things and become arrogant that God has nothing to do with it. Everything that's created in the world is from Allah Azza wa Jal. Everything is a sign of Allah. And then the rest of the signs, the clouds, the rain, the, the earth being revived. This is the spring season. We witness this, create this miracle of Allah every single day, driving down Morris Avenue, driving down these streets where you see now all these trees that were dead a few weeks ago. Now they're pink and they're green and they're white. This is life coming back after it was dead. Allah refers to this again and again and again to show us how he brings life after death. And he's going to do that again. So all these are signs, my brothers and sisters. And the last thing I'll say is when you look at these seven signs that Allah references, seven signs, you see the message of Tawheed. Tawheed is nothing but the contrast between the power of Allah and the power of human beings or the, the limited power of human being. Tawheed is the difference between Allah and his creation. So in these signs, these seven signs, Two of them, if you look at just two of the signs, one is Tasrif al riyah and the other is Al-Fulk, as I mentioned, the ships. Recently, what happened in the Suez Canal? If we saw the whole world witness this massive ship, a ship that we've never seen the likes of that. Like, and then when we saw pictures, many of us, we never imagined we could have a ship that big. But this ship sailing through the Suez Canal got dislodged and got stuck in the canal. And for an entire week, the world was helpless. And all these ships were backed up. We realize what it means. Well, full Even today in 2021, ships carrying benefit for humanity. This is how the world works. This is how economies work. And with this disruption, it affected the economies of so many countries. So even today, this is a sign that ships are how we run our economy. This brings benefit all over the world. But here's the lesson, my brothers and sisters. What made that ship, that massive, this ship was 200,000 tons. What made this ship get stuck in the Suez Canal? If you look at, you know, the, the, the reports and the analysis, it was very simple. If you translate in Arabic, tasrif al riyah shifting of the winds. So it's the shifting of the wind. Basically, there was a windstorm. And this powerful ship, 200,000 tons, Allah sent the Sarif al Riyah with one, like just with the shifting of some winds, this ship flipped over and it got stuck in the Suez Canal. And so you can see, even though the ship is a sign of Allah as well, but the signs, the, the, the power of Allah is no match for the power of human beings. Everything that we build, no matter how powerful it is, Allah can shift it in an instant. So even among these seven signs that Allah mentions in this verse in Surah Al-Baqarah, and one of them being the ships, but even within that order, you can see Allah's Tawheed, Tasrif al-Riyah, far more powerful than the mightiest ships that we can ever build as human beings. So this is a great lesson, my brothers and sisters. Everything around us points to Allah Azza wa Jal. وَفِي كُلِّ شَيْءٍ لَهُ آيَةٌ تَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّهُ وَاحِدُ Every single thing around us, no matter what it is, it points to the fact that Allah is one. So this is something we should reflect, we should open our hearts, reflect over the power of Allah and the limited power of human beings, the helplessness of human beings in front of the power of Allah. You know, the finite abilities of human beings in front of the infinite nature of majesty and power of Allah. May Allah bless all of us. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi.